Hi everyone, so I realised I didn't film an intro to this video so this is just my quick intro but I'm going to show you my updated foundation routine. As I mentioned in the video, I don't use the same foundation every day. I kind of really believe in having a wardrobe of foundations, chopping and changing them to what you need but this is just what I'm using at the moment and I really really like the way it looks on the skin. So I hope you enjoy it too. Obviously this is what the end result full face makeup looks like versus just the foundation you're going to see in this video but I hope you so enjoy I just tried to film this a second ago and my phone rang and it was somebody asking for someone called Jeremy Weiner. We don't have a Jeremy Weiner who lives here and they said that our computer is at risk and it was a guy with a foreign accent. So they were trying to get our computer access which keeps happening to people that I know. I'm not buying that, it's the most annoying thing ever. But I am going to show you how I am applying my foundation. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your hands are clean. I just use a little bit of hand sanitizer, but my hands are generally um, washed when I'm putting my makeup on anyway. And I went ahead and applied some primer. The primer I used was the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Resurfacing Primer. This isn't my favourite primer, I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm just trying to use it up because I've got about seven different primers on the go at the moment and it's getting ridiculous. So I just applied that on my face and I'm going to go ahead and get started with the foundation now. And the foundation I'm using is the 17 on the spot foundation. I really like this. I will, um, however, say that I don't wear the same foundation all the time. Different occasions, different skin days. I really change my foundation a lot. But this is what I'm using at the moment. And it just comes with a little pump, which is really handy. So I'm just going to pump a little bit onto the back of my hand. So probably about that much. And I've got this in the shade Honey. And then I'm just going to start to apply it to my face. And it's got kind of quite a thick texture because it is quite, um, I wouldn't say it's full coverage by any means, but it's kind of a medium coverage. So I just kind of apply it all over, not on my forehead because, as we've discussed, that breaks me out. And then I just start kind of buffing it into the skin. This brush is the Zoeva um, Grand Stippling Brush, which looks like that. And it's just a nice kind of big brush but it's not super dense so you don't get like a really obvious foundation mask it just kind of applies it very nicely and if I come a little bit closer you'll be able to kind of see the coverage it doesn't cover all the redness that you have and you do need to kind of keep going in with it but I really do think it's best to apply small amounts and then kind of work outwards and you do need to blend quite quickly with this because it does set I think this is kind of like a um a more wearable version for me of the Revlon Color Stay because I know a lot of people absolutely adore Revlon Color Stay, but for me, it just doesn't quite um, look natural enough on the skin. This looks very natural, it lasts really well, it keeps the oil at bay, and it just kind of makes um, your skin feel like it's got good coverage. I'm going to just apply it a little bit more, just kind of on the outer part of my face where I have got a few blemishes going on, I then will kind of conceal and also on my pigmentation marks even though it doesn't cover them because sadly nothing really covers them. And then areas where I want more coverage I just kind of tap it in rather than buff it and I find that kind of gives you a more even coverage. But as I said you do want to kind of work fast, make sure you take it on your chin and jawline because that really really does make the world of difference in making your foundation look more natural. So I'm happy with kind of how all my foundation looks. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of kind of spot concealing and I'm using the W7 cover stick with tea tree oil which looks like this and I'm just kind of going to use a little bit of my finger. I like to get this on my finger and warm it up. So I'm just going to use this on areas where I've got a little bit of scarring or any kind of visible blemishes. I need a bit of extra coverage. My chin always needs extra coverage. And I'm gonna use the Real Techniques, what's this brush called? I wanna say it's the pointed foundation brush. It's just a kind of pointed small brush. And I just use this to kind of blend it in and make it look kind of seamless with your um, can see with your foundation. So I just like to kind of use it to help make everything look a little bit more flawless. Nose, nose is very important, my nose gets super oily. Then I'm going to take a bit more and apply it onto 
my pigmentation areas, which as I said, nothing really can conceal, but there's not really much I can do about that. I've tried like super full coverage products, they don't really make much difference, so I've tried um, kind of using like a green tinted concealer, that didn't really work either. But that's it for concealing, I'm kind of happy with that. Then for my under eye concealer, I'm using two. I'm going to just use a little bit of a corrector first. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. And I've got this in shade number three, which is very, very peachy. And I just get a small amount of this. And apply it on the areas where you're the most dark. So you can kind of see here, the really dark areas get it first. And then I'm just using the Zoeva Concealer Buffer. Sorry about that. My doorbell went. It's just not my filming day. But um, after I've kind of applied my Laura Mercier just to kind of get a little bit more coverage then I like to use something that's more concealing and brightening. I'm going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. We all love this. I think this is just amazing. And I kind of apply it in kind of like a three so just a little bit on the outer edge where I get the darkest and I kind of do get dark as I said on the outer part of my eye. And then with the same brush I just like to kind of blend it in and get it all looking nice and kind of concealed and if you need more you can just add a little bit more but that's fine for me. And then just a kind of extra step, I like to just use a little bit of kind of concealing on my brow area. So I just use the number seven soothing eye base. I don't like this as an eye base because it creases like crazy but I love using it here just to kind of brighten the area and smooth everything out. And then that is it. I'm just going to powder now. I always powder. I'm using the Savvy Mineral Loose Powder on a MAC 182 Kabuki brush. I just get a little bit in the lid, get some on my brush, tap off the excess because I don't want to be overly powdery and just start to kind of build the powder into the areas where I'm the most oily. And it just helps to kind of get rid of any unwanted shine and keeps me matte for longer and also obviously keeps my makeup in place and looking nice all day long. So just take some kind of under the eyes as well and that's it. That's my updated foundation routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what foundation you're using at the moment and if you've tried the 17 one and you really like it because I think it's a really nice product and I will see you soon.